Tarantula hispania. It's prepared from the Spanish spider, right? Cuban spider was Cubensis, Spanish spider is Hispania. Spanish, although it's Spanish, but it has been extensively used, especially in Latin America, South America. And the people in South America, the tribal people in South America used to play the drum tuck, 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 and the spiders used to come out of the burrows in a dancing fashion on hearing that tuck, 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 they used to come out of their burrows like this. So, what does it signify? Your tarantula likes music. A. B tarantula always follows a rhythm. Tuck, 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 tuck. So there's always a rhythm in tarantula. You understand? Yeah. And the music for tarantula, you have to understand it can be three types. Tarantula, I will say, is not better by music, but tarantula, I will say, is sensitive to music. Why? You will get some, most tarantulas who are better from music. When they hear the music, the restlessness gets absolutely better. So they calm down completely. Right? You will get a second group of tarantula who get can get aggravated from music, who get more excited, more hyper from hearing music. And you will get a third tarantula who likes to have the rhythm with the music, who themselves become rhythmic with the music. So they do rhythmic movements, rhythmic activities on hearing the music. So the best way to describe a tarantula's reaction to music is they are sensitive to music rather than a better from music. Because most of them are better, some of them can be aggravated and some of them like the rhythm with the music. So not any type of music tarantula will favor, tarantula likes rhythmic music which has a rhythm to it. You understand what I mean? So that is one of the very distinguishing features of tarantula hispania. If you go to the physical theme in a sense, you will see restless plus 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 plus. So much restless is tarantula. What makes them better? I shared with you music. If you see the doctrine of signature here, tarantism, dancing mania set up in persons bitten by tarantula. So it is like a dancing mania and those who have been bitten, it is always a rhythmic motion what you get with tarantula, always rhythmic. Dancing mania set up in persons bitten by tarantula. Very, very restless, always want to be busy, but movement aggravates. They want to be busy always, but although they move, but movement aggravates. And you also have to remember another aspect which tarantula makes them better is that whenever they are restless, they need some friction to make them better. What is friction? You know, rubbing their hands on the table putting their head and rubbing it on the pillow because that friction makes tarantula better. The nerves are in such an excited state that they always need some friction to make them better. So always rub something on the hard surface, rub their head on the pillow, that will make them better. Have a quick look in Allens for tarantula. There is only one tarantula in Allens, Cubensis and Hispania has been combined and the relationship on tarantula. There is a wonderful line. Termini of nerves are so irritated and so sensitive that some kind of friction is necessary to obtain relief. Did you get that? Last line. You got that? Termini of nerves are so irritated, so sensitive that some kind of friction is necessary to obtain relief. 
you are with me last line second page towards the end oh under mean duration yeah okay. so they are in a, always in a hyper excited state so they need the friction to make them better that's very important for tarantula So you see, there are so many varieties of tarantula. You will get a tarantula who is very restless, constantly restless. They run about everywhere, music they hear, it makes them better. You can get another variety of tarantula who is also very restless, but rubbing, rough, rubbing themselves onto something rough makes them better. Rubbing the head against the pillow, that will make them better. So that's another variety of tarantula's amelioration. You will get another tarantula who is very, very, very ex aggressive very aggressive, very destructive. There is a line, Borike, if you have a look under mine, absence of all moral restraint. There is moral relaxation. They have no morality at all. Tarantula is one of your medicines who can take a beautiful butterfly and tear it into two. Three other medicines? Take a beautiful butterfly and tear it into two. Medorinum, okay. Second year's medicines you have done already. No, we haven't done anacardium. Anacardium can do it. Anacardium can tear into it into two. We haven't done. Hypersulf is not, not that kind, you know. It's more impulsive destructive, hypersulf. Okay? You got that? Moral relaxation in Borike? Moral relaxation under mind section. Or, ab or mo no moral restraint. That's important for your talent to learn. There's no morality. So, you know, they can do the cruelest of things and don't feel sorry about it. Sorry. Cruel, even most cruel things they can do, but they won't feel sorry about oh, it. Right? right? Sudden alteration of mind, foxy, destructive, moral relaxation. Moral relaxation, that's a wonderful word for your tarantula. You have that in anacardium to a certain extent as well. But aggressive, destructive, cruel, without any remorse, without any repentance. That's very important for your tarantula. Okay, so that's another type 2 of tarantula. What's type 3 of tarantula? You'll get another tarantula. Who's, think of the tarantula spider. It sits, waits for its prey, waits for its prey. When it, the prey comes, tuk, 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 pop, it again goes into retreat. You'll no, see no sign that that tarantula had, had its meal. It waited, waited, waited went out and then again went into retreat again. That's another very important feature of tarantula. They are very, very foxy. We call that foxy. Look in Borike, it's mentioned they're foxy, very cunning, very sly. Those are words you can use for tarantula. Mayasam? Psychotic, more, more psychotic. The reaction is syphilitic, but the mentality is psychotic. The thinking process is psychotic, that I will duck and hide, I will deceit, I will be in the hiding. That is psychotic mentality. But the outcome may be syphilitic, but the thinking is psychotic. A tarantula to the child sitting watching television, the mom is cooking. The child will go to the closet, light fire through the entire closet and come back and sit again. Fire brigade came, everyone came. Oh, there is a fire in the house. It's like that. Their expression is syphilitic. But that idea is the foxy nature is always psychotic. That kind of foxy nature. I was telling yesterday, if you remember when you are talking about the rubrics, that's why it's one of the leading medicines for feigning who pretend. Mm -hmm. Oh, mom, I don't like to go to school today. Fending I'm feigning. Like Pretending. Pretending. Psychotic. 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 Uh, Duality. That's psychotic. Uh, right. Okay. Pretending. Psychotic. That's why it's one of the leading medicines for kleptomania. Why? Oh, you got, the thing got stolen? At the end of the day, you know. That's why kleptomania, tarantula is also important medicine. Because of that foxy nature. Foxy nature results in that kleptomania. Foxy nature results later on becoming aggressive as well. Does it happen in the Hispanic and Cuban system? No, just Hispania. Just Hispania. Just Hispania. Cubans is just a skin medicine. Skin and cancer, as I shared earlier. So, foxy will result in feigning, foxy will result in being a kleptomaniac. 
right? So that's another variety of tarantula. So you can you see you can get a very restless tarantula who wants to rub his head on everything, who wants the friction to make him better. You can get a tarantula who can be better from music, better from hearing music. Second type, you can get a tarantula who is very aggressive, very cruel, very destructive, no morality at all, no moral behavior, absolute loss of morality, very cruel. And third, you can get a tarantula who is so foxy, so cunning that they have a tendency to steal, that they have a tendency to pretend, right? And in combination with this, you can get in tarantula hypersexuality. Sexual desire is plus, 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 plus. That's also quite important for tarantula, hypersexuality. What happened to this? You see, if you see in the physical theme, Physical theme, friction ameliorates, rubbing ameliorates, so friction they feel much better with that. Manifestation of symptoms, unceasing movements, rapid, rapid movements, very, very restless that you can find with tarantula. Mental essence, music, dancing and dancing it is not just any type of dancing, it is always rhythmic motion tarantula likes. I had a patient every time the music is to play this just rhythmic hip movement always. So that kind of rhythm tarantula always enjoys. Riding the horse back, rhythmic movement, tuck, 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 they enjoy that. So anything which has got to do with rhythm, tarantula will love it. You understand what I mean? That is important. And you know you will get that with autistic children, they like rhythmic repetitive movements. So that is also a feature of tarantula. Smoking, smoking makes what better? He was outside in the waiting room. He came to you, started having asthma. What happened? Oh, I kept my cigarette outside. Asthma better by smoking. Interesting? Yes. <laughs> Uncommon, PQRS. Asthma better from smoking. No other medicine has that. Turn into that. Right? PQRS. If you see this music, better by music, excited by music. I shared with you there are many tarantulas who can be aggravated, who can be hyper excited from hearing music. That is also a feature of tarantula. Better from loud rock music, but you can put here rhythmic, rhythmic, rhythmic. That is important for your tarantula. Hurried, destructive, I shared that with you, mischievous. Why? This is the foxy nature. This is the cunning nature of tarantula. Foxy, mischievous. Industrious. What do you mean by industrious? Busy, busy. Work, I can work a lot. Busy, yes. Impatient, rhythmic, I shared this with you. If you come to the characteristic, uh, if you come to the mental symptoms, strong aversion to striking colors, red, green and black, this is very important for your tarantula. Strong aversion to striking colors. So red, green, black, very striking colors, they have aversion to them. If you will have a look in the repertory, Kent's repertory, have a quick look. Colors, the rubric is colors under mind section. I think it is colors, Kent, rep, mind, the rubric is colors, 
You got that? Medicine? Turn to the? Yeah, you see, single remedy rubric. Strong colors, green, black, red. I won't say black is a strong color. Green, red, yellow, those colors, if it's there in the room. You know, with children, what do you expect in a children's room? Those kind of bright colors, right? Red, green, and yellow. But whenever they go to a nursery like that, or whenever they go to a playhouse, play school like that, they get really more agitated, tarantula, on seeing those colors. That's why we look at tarantula's room, it looks like an adult depressed room because there are hardly any colors. It may be just black and white. Because when he sees those bright variety of colors, he can't bear it. It's not like stramonium, dazzling light. It's just, say, the color of the wall is red and yellow and green, and they get super agitated from it. You understand? Stramonium was dazzling light, changing light, they get aggravated. We are here, it's the color of the normal color of a child, adolescence room, and they get super, super excited from it. So that's why aversion to colors. And you see, as I shared with you, single remedy rubrics you can prescribe on the basis of that symptom alone. So that's so important. Very sensitive to music. I shared this with you. Loss of shame. Why? Sexual hypersexuality. Lascivious, uncontrollable sexual desire. Sexual desire is plus, 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 plus. Tarantula patient feigns all sorts of sickness. They not only imagine themselves sick, but they pretend to be sick when they are not. Feigning, that's why I said, that's the manifestation of the foxy nature. Feigning, pretending to be sick. Right? Violence is a strong feature of the remedy. Strikes are attendant, nurses, tears closed. Tarantula patient, patient can be foxy, cunning, destructive. That's very, very important for your tarantula. Very foxy, very cunning, very destructive. So what do you learn from the spider? Spider comes out in a rhythmic motion. Tarantula also has, loves that rhythmic motion. The spider jumps onto its spray and then goes again into retreat. Tarantula is similar like that. It will do something very mischievous and destructive, but then goes again into retreat. Nobody comes to know that he did it. Right? And you have to understand, although this is a psychotic trait, Tarantula is a psychosyphilitic medicine. So he can be mischievous, he can be foxy, but the end reaction is always syphilitic. He ends up destructing something. You understand what I mean? There are other remedies which are mischievous as well. Like chamomilla can be mischievous, sina can be mischievous, and tim crude can be mischievous. But they are not syphilitics. But because tarantula has psychotic and syphilitic traits in him, because of the syphilitic trait, what happens? His idea is to do some mischief, but he ends up destroying. He goes and lights a fire to the entire room. Everything is destroyed. Right? So the end reaction can be a syphilitic reaction. Can be. I'm saying not always, but can be. So mischievous is psychotic. Mischievous is psychotic. But when it ends up doing harm to someone, syphilitic. syphilitic. Like I, I knew a young boy from the second floor, he threw his cat to the ground on the on the um, it was it was raining and it was waterlogged, so he wanted to see if his cat can swim. He wanted to see if his cat can swim, right? And he threw it from two, three or four stories high, right? <laughs> so you know it, it's like a mischievous thing, but it ends up hurting the cat. Like your first reaction will be, what? You wanted to see your cat can swim? So, but at the end, the ca cat is almost dying. <laughs> it was a th thrill from the fourth floor. Right? So, you know, that kind, that's that kind, that ki that is the kind of thought process. That you will get returned to that. So mischievous, but mischievous with an edge, which is bad, right? So that's the tarantula mental. So remember the three types I shared with you. It can really, really help loads of patients which you can handle tarantula hispanium.